Welcome back. The third round of the African Champions League kicks off uh, tonight with two very important matches to come. Al Ahli is uh, playing against Algerian Shabibat Al Kabail in Algeria, and Ismaili is playing against Nigerian Heartland. Now, Al Ahli has previously broke even with Heartland in Nigeria. That's an even draw and uh, one, two, one against Ismaili. And Ismaili suffered two losses uh, against each of Shabiba Al Qabail, uh, one nil. And uh, from Al Ahli, there was a defeat uh, uh, of Al Ahli against uh, Ismaili uh, that was uh, two one. We're pleasured to have with us uh, right here in our Nile International Studio, Mr. Marwan Noor. He's the sports writer and a sports analyst, of course. Good morning, sir. Mm -hmm. He's going to talk to us about this uh, crucial uh, encounter tonight about the African uh, Championship. Um, well, to start with, Al Ahli, of course, is the main match today. Right. It's between the top two teams of the group. Shabit Al Qawail is on top with six points, mm -hmm. followed by Al Ahli, who have four points. And it's a game that will decide who will top the group and subsequently have home, home advantage in the semi final. So it, it's very important. They're the two teams who are uh, they're the seeded teams in the group, let's say, and they have the biggest chances of progressing to the next round. Right. Before we talk about uh, the match uh, t tonight, uh, we need to take a flashback into yesterday. Yesterday, there was a stone that was thrown against uh, on the uh, Al Ahli team players, and Osama Hosni was hurt. Uh, unfortunately, it's another chapter. Uh, so are the they going to repeat that again? In incidents between Egypt and Algeria. Uh, we thought it, uh, it had stopped after the good reception Shabit Al-Qabail received against Ismaili two weeks ago or a month ago the, the, in the first round of matches. They had a very good reception from uh, high authorities and it was, uh, we thought it was the end of the actions uh, in Umm Durman in Sudan last year. Why is all that violence? Uh, it doesn't want to finish. Uh, the media is helping uh, mm -hmm. in making these scenes and now I think we're back to, to start point again. You're going uh, to start from scratch again. Well, uh, you said Al Ahli against Shabibat Al Qabail. Uh, this is more than a regular football match yes, that yes. Uh, the, pa the, the fans are expecting. Yes, Al Ahli is, is always, uh, has been always uh, the team to, to play against Algerians. They've always wanted to beat them. They are the biggest team in Egypt. So it's, and it's again, the incident last year in November is helping making these matches even bigger. And Al Ahli has been moving in Algeria with very high security. And it's been like, um, it's not a football match anymore. So we want this to it's finish. It's like a war. Yes, but to be honest, really, the incident yesterday uh, was very far away from the official level. The official recep reception from the Algerians has been very good and at the highest level. And the incident is, we say again single, but I mean, let's be positive that the official reception was uh, the best, let's say. So there was a good official reception, but the reception the by it's the, the fans, fans yeah. in the it's stadium the was fans. not that good. So it's like a culture. Uh, between yes, the, they the, don't the want to stop it. The, and unfortunately, stages. I'm afraid this will happen again because Shabib Al Qabail are coming to face Al Ahli in two weeks' time. Right. So now it's it's probably going to happen that uh, Ahli fans might do the same. I hope they don't. I hope it stops well, there. Let's cross our fingers, praying for that. Yes. Uh, now we need to analyze the Ahli situation now. Now the Ahli has not appeared in great shape um, um, last match against Al Shorta and the Egyptian League. This made the fans kind of worried about the level or the standard of the Ahli players uh, before they travel to Algeria. So do you think the, the, the level of Al Ahli is, not, is going to affect the match? Yes, Al Ahli has performed poorly in the last match against uh, Shorta, uh, especially they had all their, their players back. It was uh, a full team for Al Ahli, and yet they failed to, to create many chances, and this was against a local team. So the fans are worried. And to add to this, remember we had... Uh, and with Os Osama uh, Hosni also hurt. <laughs> yeah, Osama Hosni was injured, and more importantly, Ahmed Saeed, who is... Uh, who plays in, in center back with Wael Goma. So, mm -hmm. so, no, no, we hope they will play, uh, especially Ahmed Said, he's the more important player. Uh, but Al Ahli has been in bad shape in the last match. But you know, always the African Champions League is very much different to the Egyptian League. The Egyptian League, uh, you have 30 matches all over the league. So you can, uh, you can draw one match, win another, lose another, you have the chance. But in the Champions League, the players are always focused. They know what they have to do. They know they have to get a result in Algeria. It's a must if they want to top the group. 
And they have to remember as well that Ismaili is playing on the same day. And uh, if Ismaili win, Ismaili will come into contention. So, so they will want to draw at least in Algeria to keep their chances high of progressing and especially as top of the group. Right. Uh, but don't forget also that Al Ahly missed most of his uh, key players in preparing for this match. They all hooked up with the national teams with their uh, friendly match with Congo. So can that really affect this the team and the coherency between the two teams? This is very important what you are saying because Al Ahly has been missing around eight or nine players in their preparations for what they think is the most important match of the group. Right. They were hooked up with the national team uh, for two or three days, played, uh, some of the players played the full 90 minutes on Wednesday. So this doesn't help the, the preparations. But I mean, uh, Al Ahli is a big team and they are used to this. They are used to leaving their players for two or three days before big matches. And the team has the experience to, to regroup the players and be ready for the match at, at any time, even if it's one or two days before the match. And football is full of surprises also. Yes, yes, you can't expect anything today. Uh, I think Al Ahli will be keen to avoid a defeat. This is the most important thing. If they avoid a defeat, they can come here to Cairo in the return leg, maybe win. And uh, this way, Al Ahli will be on, on track for topping the group and uh, will help neighbors Ismaili to maybe progress with them if they can get a result today against Heartland. This is uh, very important for Ismaili today. Right, it's very important. Now let's move on to uh, Ismaili. Like you said, uh, Ismaili new signings have started blending in with the team, especially the strikers and the team. Can the team really make a comeback tonight in the African uh, Champions League? You, uh, as, you you were think? Saying, as you were saying at the start, Ismaili lost the first two matches. Mm -hmm. So to start with, they have to win today. Uh, to go through, you need at least 10 points. So they need three wins and one draw. So they have to win today. It's a home game. And as you were saying, uh, they have brought in three strikers before the transfer deadline. And especially Godwin, the Nigerian, he's blended uh, amazingly with the team. He scored one goal in the, in the Egyptian League game to win, uh, to grab a win for Ismail against Petrojet. He played very good against Al Ahli uh, in the Champions League, although it was his first match with the team. So they have uh, a good strike force up, up front now. So if they can use this today against Heartland and get a win, maybe they will be on their way back in the group and maybe they can snatch second spot. Their situation looks like they have a better chance than Al Ahli. What do you think? No, no they don't. They have zero points uh, at the time. But if they can win today, this is it. They need to win today. If they win today, then, then they have they, a better They chance. have a good chance here. And their last match is at home to, to Al Ahli and, and Ismailia. So if they can get a good result today, and a good result in Nigeria as well in two weeks' time, they can start getting into contention to moving through to the next round. Right. Uh, what are the upcoming match for both teams, Al Ahli and uh, Smiley respectively? And uh, what are the chances? Like we said, we need to you know, uh, go, uh, look deeper into the chances and analyze it more. Yeah, Al, Al Ahli is playing today against Shabit Al-Qabal in Algeria. And Ismaili are playing at home against Heartland. Heartland. In two weeks' time, it's the reverse legs for both teams. So, uh, as I'm saying, uh, Al Ahli, if they can get a draw in Algeria and win back in Cairo, this is perfect for Al Ahli. They'll be top of the group at the time, and they'll have two matches in uh, Egypt, so they can go top of the group. Al Ismaili, to have any chances, they have to win the two matches against Heartland here in That's Egypt. That's very harsh. Yeah, in Nigeria as well. Remember, Al Ahli played against Harlan in, in Nigeria and found it very difficult there. The pitch was very difficult, was very hard. Um, the surroundings are not very easy. So Ismaili will need to do a lot of work to have any chance. They have to win today. This is a must. And they have to win in Nigeria as well to stand any chances of progressing through. Right. Also, we, uh, to our knowledge, Haras Al Hadoud will face Tunisia and Safakusa in the Confederation Cup. What's yeah, your it's, expectations? The match between uh, Haras Al and Safakusa is a very big match, by the way, but it has been overshadowed by Al Ahli's match today. Right. Everybody's speaking about Al Ahli's match and the right. incident yesterday. We haven't been giving it enough focus. No, no, it, it hasn't taken any focus, actually. And even today, uh, I think that the broadcasting channels. Uh, will be Every, showing everybody's uh, talking about Al Ahli and yeah, Ismaili. Yeah, this is overshadowing a lot. Although Al Haras and uh, Safaksi is uh, again a match between an Egyptian team and a Tunisian team, which is always grabbing the attention, but maybe not today. <laughs> and also, the Tunisians are a little bit of uh, less calmer than the yeah. Algerians. Yeah, no, yeah, they, they are. Uh, this is the first match of the group, so the mm. first game is always. Uh, uh, it doesn't have a lot of pressure. Uh, teams are relaxed still. There is not a lot of stakes uh, at the start of the group stage. How so do you qualify uh, the Safaxi? I think Safaxi, remember Safaxi um, has won this cup many times.
many times. They are a very good team. They have a lot of good players. I think they can go through from this group. Uh, they can go with, with Haras Al Hadoud. The other two teams, Al uh, Fatah Al Rabati, uh, the Moroccans, and Zanaku, the Zambians, yeah. don't have the same experience and the same uh, like quality Sfaxian. players like Sfaxian and uh, Haras Al Hadoud. So it's, uh, it's the first game of the group. But uh, I think even if Haras Al Hadoud loses today or even draw, they can do well against other two teams and progress to the semi finals. Remember this competition, the Confederations Cup, is the only competition. Competition, the only African competitions Egyptian teams have failed to win so far. Remember, Egyptian teams have 10 Champions League titles between Ahli and Zamalek and Ismaili. But this competition has been, uh, hasn't been won by an Egyptian team. So maybe Haris Hudud would like to be pioneers in this competition. And so Haris Hudud, do you think, is going to break the ice? Yeah, and take the lead in that in, course. Yeah, in the last two or three competitions, they have gained the experience, the required experience. They have known how it, how is it like to play against African teams away from home, how to play against Arabic teams with the with the experience required for these kind of confrontations. So they they are ready this year. I think they, they can they can go through this year to the semi-finals and maybe go to the final and uh, grab a first title for Egypt in this competition. Hopefully, but uh, a final question left. I'm very curious to know. Do you think the key players in Haras Al Hudud are in their best shape to uh, uh, to lead this uh, game? Haras Al Hudud have such a, a strong team. They have a very something very good in their team is that they have um, nearly the same starting lineup in all the matches. Uh, so this helps in in, co in cohesion in, in providing the cohesion between the team. They have one or two internationals who have been on duty with the international team, but this doesn't make a lot of problems. They have uh, a very good team, a very good coach. They have been together for a long time, and uh, they can perform well, I think. Right. Well, I uh, would like to thank you very much, Mr. Marwan Noor, uh, sports writer and sports analyst. Thank you very much for coming by. And thank you. we're going to cross our fingers praying for Al Ahli. Yeah, yeah. We hope Al Ahli and, and Ismaili, they both perform today well. Which one are you in for? Um, I think everybody will watch Al Ahli, not for, uh, for a single reason, but because it's the match between an Egyptian team and an Algerian right, team. Right, an Algeria. Yeah, and they, I go they, for it. Everybody is hoping you to know, watch uh, this. I side with you. Um, I'm also, um, I think it's, it's, it's much, much better to side with Al Ahli. Uh, this doesn't mean that you don't side with Ismaili, but also it's, to it's pray for Al Ahli. It's been the incident and the, the surroundings who are making everybody eager to watch the match today. And they are triggered, the Algerians are triggering uh, violence, in my own opinion. Well, we, we hope it, it stops now, but uh, let's see what happens today. Mr. Marwan Noor would like to thank you very much, sir, for coming by. Thank you. Thank you very much and have a good day. And uh, right now we're going to move.